Hello everyone, Jordan here, and today we are in the world of prepared. And today we're going to be doing Delta Airlines Flight 1907 with non-stop service from Seattle Tacoma International, south to Los Angeles International, or commonly known as LAX. Today we're in the Boeing 737-800 series aircraft with PMDG. Our flight today will be approximately 1,000 miles in total. We'll be cruising at flight level 350, and currently weather looks pretty nice over the western portion of the United States. There's a little bit of, there's a few pockets of weather down in Northern California, but that should be no real hassle at all. We're expecting to depart runway 34 right here at Tacoma International, and we'll be arriving likely on runway 25 left. Uh, scheduled arrival time is for 9.52 p.m., and scheduled departure time is for 7.10 p.m. It's currently around 6.50-ish, so we'll be in the air in about 20 minutes, and hopefully we'll get some very nice sunsets as we fly over the western portion of the United States. Alright, well, the passengers are boarding. We might as well get started with starting up the aircraft. Let's get the IRSs on and wait for those to align. In the meantime, we're going to climb straight to, I'm sorry, 35,000 feet. Alright, we can set the elevation for Los Angeles, which is approximately 150 feet there. And, um, alright, KSEA. Take the data. Get the IRS is going, let's get our plan going. Alright. And, what are we doing? Let me check my phone for the departure. We're taking the Sumo 1 departure out of runway 34 right. There we go. Let's get that mix up there. 34 right. And there it is. Sumo 1 with the LKV transition. X out. We might as well set our arrival into Los Angeles as we're going to be following what the real aircraft did for this. I'm sorry, what the real flight did for this. So we're going to be coming in on runway 25 left. And, um, we will be doing the Iron Man 2 arrival. Oh, that's interesting. I like that. It's cool. Okay. Gotcha. Out. Alright, we can activate the route. Pretty straightforward. Okay, so it's here for the cost index database that Delta uses 13 for their 7.3s, which is pretty low in comparison to at least Southwest, where they are more in the 30 to 40 range. So for the takeoff ref, we're going to have a V1 of 144 knots, a rotational speed of 145 knots, and V2 of 147 knots. Uh, the runway is uh, practically 12,000 feet long. That's terribly long. Shouldn't be any problems with that at all. So we should be good to go there. Uh, heading 34. I uh, would we'll say about 343. Um, in South, for, I'm sorry, for Southwest Airlines, they set their course heading to follow their departure heading in case of a failure. So. I'm going to just follow those procedures, even though it's a little off. Let's actually set the course heading for 345. Even though it's a little off, probably from Delta's operational procedures. In the meantime, let's get the APU running. Alright, so we have an altimeter of 3004. Let's do a quick systems test while we wait for the APU to come online. And I can Light check slow. some other stuff while we're here. Pull up. Wind shear, wind shear, wind shear, terrain, terrain, pull up. Alright, so for Honda, I can, uh, I practically can just skip the vector right here because we're not going to be doing much there. Alright, let's do a quick TCAS test since we will have traffic flying around. Let's make sure everything else is operational. Actually, 
TCAS test. Pass. Alright, we're on APU power now. Let's cross feed that so we don't have a fuel imbalance. So there's actually not much else for us to do as we await for pushback. So let's call GSX and get ready to go. A's off, B's on. Let's get the aircraft into takeoff config. Flaps 5. Taxi lights on. Turn on engine power. The packs on. Insert fans on. Turn those pumps on. Get those on. We can turn the APU off. Pass the signal signs on. What else? What else? What else? And yeah. We should be good to go. Flight controls. Full right. Full left. Up, full down, and rudders full right, and rudders full left. Alright, with that being said, I think we are ready to taxi. I'm going to start the clock on the first officer to get a full idea from gate to gate time, and I'll start the captain's clock once we get in the air, so we have a full air time idea. So, let's advance the throttles and get ready to go. Turning on to the runway, we can get the lights on, and we don't need to cross that anymore. Taxi light can come off. We can get ready to depart. Though there is some traffic out there, but I don't think they'll be crossing or having any problems whatsoever. So we should be we should be good to go. All right, 40% and one.
was hate. And I realized I didn't have the flight breakers on. Wow! Okay, that was bad. Oh, that would be an F to have been on too, but it's, eh, it's too late. We can hand fly for a little bit. Pause rate of climb. Gear up. Alright, autopilot is engaged. Let's turn the auto brake off. Gear can come to off. And what else? Uh, yeah, hop. Alright, and we should be pretty good.